Hey y'all, welcome to Robin on the Farm. Today I'm making some honey oat white bread. This bread is really good. You know how you go in phases and you really like one certain thing so you keep making it? Well, that's how I am with this bread. This is the third day in a row that I've made this bread because I'm, I'm really enjoying it. My family's liking it too. So um, today I'm gonna make it using the bread machine dough cycle and then I'm gonna bake it in the oven. The last two times I've just made it totally in the bread machine so you can do that too. I just always like my bread a little bit better when I make it in the oven. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do today. But if you want to just totally make it in your bread machine, you can do that. Um, so let's just get started. This is really good bread. It's really simple. It only has seven ingredients. Um, and I'm just gonna show you how to do it. So to get started, you want one and a quarter cups of milk, warm milk. I popped this into the microwave for about a minute and a half. This is whole milk. Use any kind of milk that you want. Okay, so one and a quarter cups of milk. All right. Next, you want a quarter cup of melted butter. So a half a stick of butter melted. Um, I melted it in the microwave. I covered it. If you melt it in the microwave, make sure you cover it so you don't have a big mess because I know we've all done that. Okay. Next, you want a third of a cup of honey. Um, this is just some organic honey. Um, use whatever kind you want, but just know that the different kinds of honey have a little bit different flavors. Um, so I like this to be a nice sweet honey. Okay, so just put that on in your bread pan, just like this. It is important the order that you put um, your ingredients into your bread pan. So we're gonna put all of our liquids in first and then our flours um, on top of that. Okay, next we want three cups of flour. I'm using bread flour. Um, I have a bunch of bread flour stored right now, so I'm using a bunch of that. You can use all-purpose flour just fine in this recipe. Um, but three cups of flour, just measure that on out and put it into your bread pan. Okay, three cups of that. And I'm gonna use a cup of oats. Now you can use old-fashioned oats or you can use quick oats. I have this big, um, 20 pound bucket of oats. These are quick oats. These are from Augustin Farms. This is how I like to store my oats. It's super simple. One cup of oats. Okay, just throw that right on top of your flour. Now we want one and a half teaspoons of salt. Let's put that right on top. Okay, next is our yeast. This is my active dry yeast. I get this in these big bulk um, packages and I just store it in my freezer until I'm ready to use it. So um, I put it in the freezer and I get it out and I use it. I don't have to let it um, come to room temperature or anything like that. Um, so just get your yeast, store it in the freezer. It'll stay good forever. This actually says it expired um, a year ago. So, but it still works great. I make bread with it pretty much every day. So I know it's good. So just throw in your yeast, two teaspoons of yeast. You can make a little well if you want, but you don't really have to. So no big deal there. Okay. Those are all of our ingredients. This is a really simple bread to make. So now I'm just going to throw this into my bread maker. And I'm going to choose the dough cycle. The dough cycle will take about an hour and a half, and then I will get it out of here. I'll shape it into a loaf, throw it into my loaf pan, let it rise, and then bake it in the oven. So let's see. I'm just gonna choose the dough cycle. It says an hour and a half. This is a two pound loaf, okay? Two pound loaf, and just press start and let the bread machine do all of the work for you. This is the kneading, the rising, all of that. Um, you do want to check your dough in just a couple minutes. Use a rubber spatula and just get all around the sides so that all of your ingredients are incorporated and so that you have a really nice dough ball. You don't want your dough ball to be too wet and you don't want it to be too dry. So sometimes I'll have to add maybe an eighth of a cup more of flour, but I'll show it to you in just a few minutes when it starts um, getting all incorporated. Okay, so it's just been a couple minutes. You can see that it is kneading, but do you see all that flour and stuff stuck to the side of my bread pan? Definitely want to get that off. So I'm going to come in here with a spatula and just kind of scoop it around the edges and it will all work into that ball. 
Okay, so now I have all the flour off the sides and it's looking like this. This is looking exactly right. This is what you want your ball of dough to look like as it starts to knead. You can see that it's not sticking to the sides or to the bottom. It is a perfect consistency. This is what you want it to look like. If it's too wet, you're gonna wanna come in and add about an eighth of a cup of flour. Okay, now I'm just gonna close the lid and let the bread machine do its magic. All right, here it is. Here's our honey oat white bread and the dough cycle is over. So it's been about an hour and a half and this is what your dough should look like at the end of the dough cycle. It's been an hour and a half, our dough is ready. Let's see, here it is. Look at that. That is exactly what you want your dough to look like at the end of the dough cycle. So let's just turn it out now. Make sure if you have one of these little things that comes out, make sure you get it out of your dough so you don't bake it in the oven. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna press out this dough. Okay, just press it out. Get all the little air bubbles out of it. And then I'm gonna shape it into a loaf. So I'm gonna pull it down, pull in the sides a little bit, squish it out with the palms of your hand and then continue to shape it into a loaf. Just roll it up into a log. Looks good, kind of tuck your sides under. Kind of pinch everything together. And you have a really nice little loaf like that. So now I'm gonna take my absolute favorite cast iron piece. This is my cast iron bread pan. Um, I'm gonna be using these bread pans for the next like 50 years. I'm gonna use these throughout my whole life because I love them so much. And I know that they're gonna hold up and keep working great. Okay, so you're gonna take your little loaf of dough and you're gonna throw it in your bread pan. Okay, oh, mine was a little too long, but that's fine. You can just squish it in there. And now I'm just gonna let this sit on my counter for about 30 minutes. Um, and during that time, I'm gonna get my oven preheated to 350 degrees and then I'll bake it but I'm just gonna let it sit on the counter just like this. I'm not gonna wrap it. I'm not gonna put any um, tea towels on it or anything. I'm just gonna let it sit just like this. And in about 30 minutes, it'll be ready to bake. And I'll show it to you at that point. So here's our dough. It's been rising for about 25 minutes and it is just over the edges of my bread pan. And this is exactly what I want it to look like when it's time to go into the oven. So I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees and I'm gonna stick this bread in there to bake for 30 minutes. And then it will be all ready. It's looking great. This is our honey oat white bread and it smells amazing. I must admit though, this is probably the most cattywamp loaf of bread I've made in a while and I'm just gonna have to blame filming. When I was rolling up my dough, I let this side get a little too big, this side a little too small, and I guess my attention just wasn't totally on rolling up my dough, but it's totally fine. It's gonna taste just the same. I know it's gonna be good. So this is the part where I'm gonna get it out of my loaf pan. Now I, oil, I oiled up my cast iron loaf pan before I put it in there. So it should just slide right out. Let's see. Yup, look at that. That's why I love my cast iron. I think it's just amazing. It cooks things so evenly, like the bread is always cooked perfectly. Um, you can see, like look how good that looks. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh, so good. Okay, so I think that what you do to your bread after you get it out of the oven is almost as important as the recipe you use. So this is what I like to do. I like to get a little pat of butter and just smear it all over this crust. This is gonna give you really nice um, soft crust, which I really like. I don't really like crispy crust, so I like it nice and soft. So I'm gonna put this butter all over it. Okay, that's looking good. Now, I don't like to put it on a cooling rack either. I like to put it on just a tea towel and then I usually just cover it like this and that condensation in there will just give you a really nice soft crust. So this is how I like to um, let my bread cool. Once my bread is totally cool, then I'll put it in a bread bag, um, just a plastic bread bag, and then I will later slice it up and have it just ready just to pull out of the bread bag. Um, but this is how I like to cool it. But for today, I'm gonna go ahead and slice into it. Now, everybody knows that you should let your bread cool totally before you slice into it, but honestly, who does that? 
This bread smells so good right now that I just want to eat it. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice into it and let you see the middle of it. Mm. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? It is so hot. Um, the crumb and stuff, if you let it cool, it's gonna be even better, but this looks great just like it is. Okay, so this is our honey oat white bread. I'm just gonna put a little bit of butter on it and take a little bite. Mm. It's perfect. It's really good. Just has a nice sweet taste from the honey. Oh, it tastes amazing. I got out some of my favorite jam. This jam is so good. I just got a new um, jar of it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on there. Oh, and this is just gonna be such a treat. This is like a good mid afternoon snack. Okay. Mm, so good. So now I am just gonna wrap this back up in this towel and I'm gonna let the bread totally cool. And then these are my bread bags. These are my plastic bread bags. Um, I'll put a link to these in the description in case you want one. Um, but I get these in big packs of 200 and they are just so convenient. Once my bread cools, I'll cut it up. I'll put it in this bread bag and then I will just leave it on the counter and we can just pull from it and use the bread as we want to. Um, and I think this just makes really good convenient snacks and meals for my family. So thank you for being with me today on Robin on the Farm. Thank you for making this fantastic honey oat white bread. It turned out really good. Um, try it out. Let me know how you like it. I have been getting so many comments lately about people that have been liking my recipes and it just makes me smile. It just makes me so happy. Um, a lot of people say that they've been making extra bread for their neighbors or for their friends or family. And I just love that too. So thank you for telling me that stuff. It just makes my day. Um, thanks for being here with me today. And I will see you next time on Robin on the Farm. These are the bread bags that I like to use. Um, I like to cut up my bread and put it on the counter just like this in these bread bags. Um, this makes it really convenient for my family just to grab out a piece of bread for a sandwich or a snack. Um, and it keeps our bread nice and fresh. So I will put a link down below in the description if you're interested in any of these. I just really like them.